guys and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today's video we haven't got any unboxing but we are going to be doing some baby boomer, boomer boom, 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 some baby boomer <laughs> get there in the end nails uh, using dual forms and we're also going to do a bit of encapsulation and stuff like that with dual forms which is great. So right now I am just showing you how you would prep your natural nails. Um, I put some cuticle oil onto my fingers, rubbed it in and now I'm just pushing back the cuticle and then I use the other end then to scrape away any of the dirt and dust and dead skin and all that stuff. And then I grab my little scissors and if there's any excess um, cuticle I just snip it off. As you guys know I don't really use a drill because I need to get a new one that actually works. Um, so until then we are just going to be doing prep without a drill. <laughs> so now I'm just taking my buffing block and I'm just filing away the natural shine from the nail. You don't have to do this hard at all. You don't have to... Um, you're not taking down any layers. I realised though that I still had some old product on my thumbnail there. So I grabbed my nail file and I'm using the 180 grit side to file the rest of the product off as you can see. And then I wipe it away and dust it away now actually I think. Yeah, dust it away, all the dust. And then I go in with my dehydrator and primer. You want to um, apply an even layer of dehydrator onto all your nails and then an even layer of primer but make sure the primer doesn't um, touch your skin and you can always go in with two coats of primer it's completely up to you it's your choice I only show you the thumb because I like it's pretty self-explanatory if it's just showing one finger you know and then I go in with some base coat I use the Corsalia because I couldn't find my Yogi base coat um, but I do find the Yogi base coat and top coat after I've done this. But anyway, you just paint on a thin even layer of base coat onto all of your fingers and then you cure for 60 seconds. Um, I used peel off base coat, but I did show you how to do the, the normal base coat. And then I go in, I'm just showing you what products I'm using now. So I'm using the Yogi Glitter Poly Gel and the Snowflakes. I absolutely love Yogi's uh, Glitter Poly Gel. I think it's absolutely fab. And we are using McCart um, dual forms. Everything will be linked down below in the description box, by the way. And I do also use Yogi uh, Clear Poly Gel to do the encapsulation. So the great thing about McCart uh, dual forms, I've realised, is that straight dual forms still have a curved um, cuticle area. Usually the straight dual forms are like square. But these ones are pretty round. I was quite happy. I was like, oh, okay, so they actually fit my my cuticles pretty well. If they don't fit your cuticles very well, you can always grab your hand file and file the sides down. But now I'm just sizing up the dual forms, making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall and fit nicely into my cuticle area with enough space in between the natural nail and the dual form to make sure you've got enough space to put your product. Uh, so now we are going to grab the natural clay and... I'm going to show you, okay, so I've done the thumb already, uh, just to see, because I tried one method and it didn't quite work, so, um, yeah, we do a different one. I tried to, like, do, like, the, the white bit first and then do the, uh, the nail bed colour second, but it kind of created, like, this ridge sort of level and I wasn't happy with it, so I was like, no, okay. So, what we're going to do now is to encapsulate. We're going to put some clear poly gel, only a little bit, down into the nail, uh, the dual form I should say. And then grabbing my slip solution and my poly gel brush, I just press and push it all into the dual form, making sure it's pretty thin and, because you don't want this to be thick, because this is just a encapsulation. And because it's dual formed, you don't file on the top because it's already giving you your structure, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, just uh, part and poly and stuff like that into place. And then I'm going to get my snowflakes before I cure. I don't cure at all, by the way. I basically a layer on layer on layer, put it on my nail and then cure. So into the wet poly gel, we're going to press some snowflakes into it and just press it in with my tweezers. And I do this, I think I do two or three. I done three on the thumb, two then on each of the nail because obviously the thumb is bigger. Um, the little finger though I left it blank and the middle finger because they are the uh, baby boomer ombre sort of nails. Um, but yeah, and then I just used my brush to make sure they were all patted down in place. I absolutely love Gershon Poly Gel because it's it's not sticky and it holds everything in. It's not thick but it's not thin. I'm struggling here to get out of the bowl as you can see. Um, 
but it's not sticky and it it's nice to move around with. It's really up there with Makatum and Gershon. I think I've said before, I really do like the uh, the texture and the formula of Gershon Poly Gel. I absolutely love it. So now I've just put some of that pink glitter into the uh, dual form, making sure the snowflakes are down. I'm just going to use my brush and slip solution. And I'm just going to push and pull it into places you can see I'm using the belly of my bristle brush the belly of the brush of the bristles to push it backwards the only thing I hate about dual forms is they're very fiddly um dual forms are fantastic for beginners and they are great for if you want a quick and easy set um but I uh I'm just making sure that it's the same length for <laughs> but um I think it's because I'm no longer like a beginner quote unquote like I've done nails since January this year now I've been doing nails so I don't feel like I'm a beginner anymore so I notice the little imperfections that dual forms have but they are fantastic for beginners and learning and if you want a fast set of nails so yeah so now the next nail of course is the baby boomer French fade ombre nail and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just putting it into the dual form here and I'm going to push it up. This is the nail bed area. I push it up. Oh, here is where a fly attacked me and I was trying to get it away from my workstation. That's why it's, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was really random. This fly was really docile and just kept landing on me. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> going back to the nails. So basically, I just push it all up the, the uh, dual form and then I push it back on itself to fade it as you can see and I'm sort of like putting pressure to pull it all back I hope that makes sense so basically you kind of paint it you know like a, a paint stroke when you're painting like a wall you go back and forth um and that's what I've done as you can see then it does do a fade and then I just go in with the white and I place it onto the top of the like where the free edge would be and pat and pull it into place and then mold it down into the pink as well so it creates that fade color that fade sort of nail um so yeah and then of course put it on my finger and cure uh each nail i cure for 30 seconds in between each um what's it called in between each uh nail because i want it to stay on but then i do a full cure on on the pinky then for 60 seconds um so yeah, <laughs> so this is pretty simple, pretty easy, and I absolutely love this. This is our first, this is my first ever winter Christmassy sort of set I've done. I'd say winter, but then it is very Christmassy. I love this time of year. Has anyone else, right, let me know down in the comments below, but has anyone else put their Christmas tree up? We put ours up last night. <laughs> um so yeah i'm doing this voiceover in the morning of wednesday before this goes up so we literally put our christmas tree up last night um and then we put a cute little uh christmas tree in the hallway because i said to the kids santa claus is going to be social distancing so you can't put your sacks at the end of the bed this year so he's going to leave them in the hallway with uh the christmas tree so yeah <laughs> and his little keys by the tree i just love christmas and i think it's even more fun when you have kids sorry rambling about christmas um and i also this week all i've done is paint i've painted my hallway and i've painted my half of my living room uh we've put my wall up on the uh, we've put my wall we've put my tv up on the wall We've done a lot of redecorating and I think I might share a picture when we're all done of what it looks like. But until then, I'm, yeah, it's still got a few bits more to do. <laughs> but anyway, back to the nails. So um, the next nail now, I am doing some clear cap again, putting clear poly gel down, pushing those snowflakes into the clear. And then I go in with that white iridescent um poly gel i love these glitter poly gels they're so nice because they're fine and i just love how not sticky they are it's so nice to work with i i think it's because i've worked with a lot of sticky poly gels lately so it's nice to not have stickiness um so yeah and then i just push that into place and then for the pinky like i said i do another baby boomer but i don't put any snowflakes on it because i kind of liked it just plain um but yeah so this is a really easy set it's a really nice set it's very girly and very Christmassy. uh so yeah i'm really happy with this and uh, then i just press it onto the nail and i cure again so yeah that's pretty much it and uh yeah that's all i've really got to say uh on this pinky though i 
did miss a little spot. It was my fault. I didn't put the poly gel there. So what I'd done is once I popped the dual foam off, I went in with a bit of poly gel. I did leave it in and I just show you how I uh, correct, like if I miss any gaps, because sometimes dual foamers won't cover the whole nail, but it, this one was my fault in all fairness. So I just went in and I just repaired it without any worry. And because this poly gel is nice and firm, it's not like really firm. It's uh, a nice firmness to it. But because it's a pretty firm poly gel, I was able to repair it without having to put a foam on or anything like that. There it is. So I just put a bit of poly gel in and I just pat it and pull it into place. So yeah, it's pretty nice and easy. It's easy to repair as well. Um, the filing, I just filed up the sides and the free edge. I didn't do uh, the tops because, of course, the tops are basically done for you. Uh, but yeah. So um, what is everyone asking the big red guy for Christmas this year or I don't know any other religions do do you celebrate Christmas I know that um a lot of people do celebrate different things uh my kids uh we do elf on a shelf and we bought the elves new jumpers this year so I can't wait I think if you guys if you guys want to when every day now through December I will post a picture on my Instagram story of sharing what the elves have been up to our elves aren't that naughty because my children are very easily suede <laughs> so um yeah so anyway once you have cured for 60 seconds you then just have to pop off the dual form it's really simple really easy uh you just squeeze the tip and then just use a pair of scissors don't point them downwards i accidentally stabbed myself on the thumb uh with my tweezers because they're very sharp you can see, i don't know if you can see um i accidentally stabbed myself by trying to get the dual form off so yeah if you use scissors uh not scissors if you use tweezers I probably said scissors, but if you use tweezers, make sure you like keep it level and not pointing downwards because it will hurt. <laughs> so then once we're done, we just file them up again. Really simple and easy to do. File the sides, file around the cuticle if you need to. And then I did file over the top of this one a little bit. And then you file the free edge. Then, of course, you top coat and cure for 60 seconds. Add some cuticle oil and that's pretty much it. I did add two little gems just to make it more sparkly. Um, but I think this set would have looked nice without the gems. I just wanted to put a bit of bazaars in them. But, yeah, other than that, it was uh, pretty fun to do. And I really enjoyed doing this set. And it was really cute. And it's really Christmassy. And I'm in that mood. And I'm sorry, guys. I just keep repeating myself. But, yeah. So I am actually going to put some music on and some feature comments and stuff like that. And I will end the voice over here. Just stay for the end result, guys. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all staying safe. Don't forget to keep on smiling. And don't forget to leave a comment down below about how excited you are for Christmas. Because I am so, so excited. I absolutely love Christmas. It's one of my favourite times. Halloween, Christmas and like my family and my kids birthdays <laughs> not my own i love like i just love making little setups and stuff like that but yeah and also before i go i will ask cause i'm not sure how you guys would like it but basically i'm doing um um some little christmas nails for my family members and i was wondering would you like to see a video of me making those um those nails and then like a video of how i'm going to like um wrap them and how i'm going to like what i'm going to put the bo the box and what i'm going to put in the box and stuff do you know like a little like nail gift set thing um let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see that video of me like doing some nails for family for christmas and then how i'm going to like wrap them and put them like presentable and all cute let me know because i'm excited and if i can and you guys could even do it because you know you can you can make your own press-ons for family i think it's a great idea i'm gonna make like little gift boxes and i'm gonna add some nails in because i think that's cute but anyway guys i am going to stop talking and rambling now but let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that video but anyway like i said i hope you're all having a wonderful day keep smiling stay safe and i will see you all in the next one bye guys <laughs>